Hey everybody, Mike with Bee Rescue. How y'all doing? Uh, listen, I'm going into a, a test yard and um, it's where I have that special genetics that I'm testing uh, to see how they do mite resistant, mite tolerant, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm just getting started and I thought I'd take you along with me. I'm not gonna do a full inspection or anything like that. I don't think, I'm just gonna check feed and look in on a couple of them. And um, sometimes, we get so wrapped up in the idea it has to be an hour per hive to do what you need to do that it becomes intimidating to a new beekeeper. So as you get better at keeping bees, you also get more efficient. So um, so you see me go through this. I know the angle's probably off. I got to get like a GoPro with a, I don't know, headgear or something like that for you guys one of these days. But um, we're just going to do a quick look at the entire yard so first thing i'm going to do when i see a bee yard is i'm just going to observe the entrances i might walk by real quick um and i actually did pop by and check see if all the lids were on after the storms last night but i might walk through and just observe activity should be a lot of foragers out this time of day had big storms last night da -da -da -da. you can see them coming in you see pollen on them so that's the first thing i look for is just activity and then You'll see me if I can keep from stopping the video. Put you back in my pocket here. Then uh, I'll go through and uh, just take a quick look at some things, all right? So I might pop a lid with this type of feeder, not necessarily uh, do I do that all the time, but I wanna see how much feed is in there, see what they're taking. There is some drowned bees in there and, and some uh, also some drowned um, ants and stuff, but they haven't taken it all. So I'm just going to put that lid back on and let them go to it some more. I could go deeper into it, but I just don't want to spill syrup all over them. So I'll pull this one. Still syrup. So we'll just look for one that has consumed most of the syrup. This one's a little off. I just fed them the other day. They're doing okay. At some point, I'll pull one of them off just to see what the colonies look like. But that's really what I'm doing. I was just checking to see how they're doing for feed. So that was dry as a bone. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and take a look, shall we? Let's just take a peek. There's some up there looking for food, but they're just going to have to wait until I'm ready to feed them. There we go. Somebody honking. Probably Paul. Anyway, if you guys remember, this started out with a queen and two frames of brood, not even any resource frames all new equipment and uh, they're doing a pretty good job gathering and stuff like that let's just let's just take a peek while we're here we know we're going to need to feed in the next few days so just doing a quick check on them and this is really to establish what i'm going to do next time i'm by because i don't have a whole bunch of time right now to do everything uh, anyway with these guys. But see, there you go, they're drawing that out. What I would ordinarily do at this point is checkerboard them a little bit, a little bit harder, push them. Because I'm gonna push these guys, here it is, you know, call it the end of August, and uh, they haven't finished filling out a single. Well, that's because we started them late. I got these queens pretty late. And uh, so we put a couple frames of brood with them, instead of adding them to my comb and my brood and gave them all a fresh start. So that's the best way I could think of to study the genetic traits that a uh, beekeeper here is uh, talking about. And uh, again, I keep saying this, but kudos to him for one, working so hard on his own breeding program and two, you know, for, for being willing to, you know, put his work out there and to be tested. So. Um, you'll never hear, I mean, we might kid around a little bit from time to time, but you'll never hear judgment from me on uh, beekeepers trying things, right? Or introducing or trying new techniques. Um, that's what we need. We need a lot of that in beekeeping to, you know, establish new traits and uh, techniques. Innovation is important in any industry. When you're dealing with biologicals like bees, with all the variables they have, well, there was a lot of rain last night, you know, it's even harder sometimes, right, to uh, to study these little insects. So, anyway, they're doing 
what I like to see. And they're progressing the way I want them to. So I'm very pleased so far. No absconds. Uh, haven't seen any queens die off. Haven't seen anything weird virus-wise. So they're doing what I think they should be doing in general. And why do we have some of these girls on top? You have to find your own way up. All right. Uh, but so far, so good with these, right? So anyway, longer than intended video. Just thought I'd show you a quick update. Usually I go through this even faster, but I get to talking with you all. And I keep thinking of other things that I could show or do that might be interesting to help. So I'll, uh, I'll pop this one just for giggles so I can see what's going on over there. There you go. That's what we want to see. So there's a little bit of deviation progress-wise, but not much. And so anyway, there you go. That's what I'm doing. Went all the way out to Wellsville, Kansas today and forgot a couple things uh, on my trip naturally, but um, thought I'd stop by and check on these on the way back in. So there you go. There's a speedy, quick run through one of my test apiaries. Hope you find it interesting. Uh, if I dig deeper in some of these, I'll be doing alcohol washes on every one of them probably in two weeks to establish a baseline. We'll see how they do after another hatch. Um, but we'll do a couple alcohol washes to establish baseline uh, on everybody and then um, probably do it again before winter and see how they're doing. Just depending again on population. I don't see these getting doubled up. I'll probably overwinter in singles and see how they do. And uh, you know, see what kind of mite counts they have in spring and see which ones survive, all that kind of stuff. So there you go. That's the plan. All right. Take care, everybody.